would take uh, C.J. Stroud over Joe Burrow for the next five years based on injury. Do you agree with that? I, I think it can be based on injury. It can also be based on play. When you think about what C.J. Stroud was able to accomplish as a young rookie, basically turning around an organization nobody wanted to play for, they couldn't keep a coach, and now you add Stefan Diggs to that, he's made Houston a destination for big-time free agents. And so if you look at his game, especially as a young player, he most resembles Joe Burrow, the pocket presence, the awareness, the ability to manipulate defenses. And what we can see from him this year is the same thing we saw from Joe Burrow in year two when they got Jamar Chase. This team could make a Super Bowl run. Yeah, I'm going to take Burrow. I can't base it on the injury. And he's right, Chris. He has had some injuries and Stroud, obviously, he's been relatively healthy. But I have to take the guy who has beaten Mahomes three yeah. times. He beat him in a championship game. He's beaten him twice in a regular season. And he almost beat him in the other championship yeah. game. He lost late in the game on that late hit and he out of bounds and can't. Yeah. So because of that, I have to take the guy who can go head to head and has proven that he can beat the best quarterback in the sport. Stroud, it's not his fault, hasn't proved that yet. So because of that, I take Burrow. I'm gonna agree with RC but only because I'm not going to ignore injuries. The yeah. fact of the matter is, when I look at Burrow, I don't think that a healthy Burrow is going to fade at all. No. I think what you see in C.J. Stroud, it's not an accident that we're saying he's Burrow-like mm. because we know what Joe Burrow is. We saw that brother at LSU. We saw that brother come into the National Football League. In two of the three years that he was healthy, he was in a Super Bowl and an AFC Championship game. So we see both of those things. We know Burrow is that dude. The problem is, is that he's susceptible to injury, and he's proven that already. C.J. Stroud hasn't proven that yet. So if C.J. Stroud has the potential to be Burrow-like, but in the same breath, he has more durability, then I have to say I'd rather have him, who's younger and hasn't been exposed to the injuries yet, and is Burrow-like, I got to go with him instead of Burrow over the next five years, but only yeah. because of durability issues. And I think, and that's the other point too, and I love the way Stephen A said that, we're not saying that we don't think Joe Burrow is an absolute baller, yeah. because he is, but when you think about the injuries, the, the appendectomy, he had yes. the, yep. the calf, then to the wrist, the knee right. in year one, when he's available, he's the top three quarterback, top but quarterback. will he be available the entire season? Fair. I mean, and Stroud was very good at, at Ohio State yeah. where he played healthy right. there, too. I love Stroud. I think you guys are 100% right. I'm just going to go the matchup against Mahomes. Yeah. Right. His Burrow has played well against him. You'll appreciate this take, Doggy. We also have to take into account ownership. Now, I've maligned the Houston Texans yeah. owner, the McNairs and all this, because I didn't like the way they were doing business before they hired, you know, their latest coach. I'm happy he's there. But when you look at Cincinnati, Issues of whether or not T. Higgins is going to be there. Jamar. Issues are now with Jamar. Mixon's gone. I'm like, wait a minute. Burrow had these weapons. Well, are you going to compromise what you're supposed to do because you got Burrow? I'm looking at a Houston team that is building stuff around Stroud. I'm looking at a Cincinnati Bengals team that's hinting towards taking Burrow for granted or taking their franchise for granted because they have Burrow. I don't know if I trust that. But they, they, they're, they're in that problem, doggy, or they're in that space when you pay your quarterback $55 million oh, they a are. year. Absolutely. The difference between where C.J. Stroud is in his career and Joe Burrow I agree. is C.J. Stroud's on that rookie contract. Totally fair. So yeah. Nick Casario, the GM, is doing the right thing. Right. Let's put as many pieces around him right now and try to win before we have to pay him a half a billion dollars in right. two years. Well, that's what Cincinnati did with Burrow when they got to the Super Bowl. Yep. The key to the NFL football right now is to have a great young quarterback for the first three years you're not going to pay him. Yeah. I mean, Purdy's making eight hundred. Purdy's way, making eight hundred thousand dollars a year. And by the way, let's be very, very clear. RC is not exaggerating when he says, "In a couple of years, yep. you might have to pay C.J. Stroud a half a billion dollars." One hundred percent. It ain't an exaggeration <laughs> at all. I want to capitalize on that because the Houston Texans were the sleeper team last year, and what I love about the NFL so much is how much parity there is. Mm -hmm. Right? You never know who's going to show up. RC, what the NFL team do you feel like we're sleeping on the most right now heading into the season? The Indianapolis Colts. Good I believe. I you believe think the quarterback's the real deal? Yeah, I think he's the real deal. But I've also be began to believe that Shane Steichen 
is the real deal. Think about Shane Steichen's evolution into being a head coach. He was with Justin Herbert yep. with the Chargers when we were starting to build him up as being one of the best Hertz, young quarterbacks in Hertz league. And Jalen Hurts in his MVP caliber season. And also, last year we watched him manipulate offense around what Anthony Richardson could do and then also play with uh, Gardner Minshew. And so I think when you see what the way that he can work things, how they've added pieces defensively, a healthy Jonathan Taylor, and they're also in the AFC South as well, I believe that's a team that we could see in the playoffs this year. I don't disagree with that. I'm going to take the Rams. Mm. Uh, I cannot believe this. You know what the Ram over number, over under number is in Vegas? No. Eight and a half. Mm. How could the Rams, they don't think they're going to win nine games? Because they, I think, they, I think they, they, they're looking at Aaron Donald and thinking about what he brought to the table. Plus the and quarterback. so much. And, and, gets and now hurt. he's gone, and you got a quarterback in Matthew Stafford whose durability is a And remember, they thought they overachieved last year, yeah. too, getting to the playoffs. They did. Well. And they, they were three and six, and they almost beat Detroit yeah. in, that fir in that first round. So I'm going to take the Rams. And if you look at the Rams' schedule, their last two games at home, Seattle, and Arizona. So if they're like, you know, eight and seven with two left. I don't like Puka Nakua because he joined Michael Parsons as a ringer and they dogged <laughs> my team during the celebrity basketball game. That's right. Dunking, dunking and, and shoving aside men, women, and children. <laughs> it was not fair. It was not fair, him and that damn Michael Parsons. But I'm going to, in all seriousness, though, I will tell y'all this. I'm going to mention the Cleveland Browns. Ladies and gentlemen, I know he's been through a lot. Self-inflicted, we don't have to revisit that because I got love for the brother, but I'm going to say this. Strictly about football, Deshaun Watson, bro, what you going to do? Yeah. We saw you and you when you were a Houston Texan. It was reminiscent of what we're seeing from C.J. Stroud now in Houston. Here, if you're Deshaun Watson, here's the deal. Your defense is big time. You're led by a stud in Miles Garrett. Okay, Nick Chubb and all of these brothers are going to come back. you got weapons at the receiving, the tight end spot. And you play in a conference where we got Lamar Jackson and Joe Burrow. You were the one who was given $230 million guaranteed before anybody got paid. You damn near set the market for crying out loud. You were a big reason why Lamar Jackson held out for as long as he did <laughs> yeah. to make sure he got his bag. Yeah. Well, what you going to do, Deshaun Watson? You look at the Cleveland Browns, okay? The reality is Stefanski can coach. You got weapons on both sides of the ball. Pittsburgh got Justin Fields and Russell Wilson. Now, I know they got Mike Tomlin, but he ain't on the field. You are. Yeah. Deshaun Watson, if he is what I know he can be, Cleveland is no joke. It's not, but the thing is, that's not a sleeper team to me. If this team isn't playing deep into the playoffs, they're a disappointment. Okay. And you're right. It is on the quarterback. We I'm looking watch. at the division. But I do oh, think they're not Korea. on the forefront of everyone's mind. To, right. to yeah. yeah. But we, we got to think about this. We watched this team go to the playoffs with Joe Flacco. Right. And then get the wrong. And the then position. get wrong. Yeah. Sent home. They, 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 had, they, they made Joe Flacco remember that he was on the damn couch a few yeah. weeks earlier. Yeah. No, That's the what they did to him. The is the Colts. Okay. Yeah. I remember the Browns, eight and a half. Yeah. So I would go over. Yeah. Oh, you know, absolutely. Because they, they, I take the defense. Right. Go over, don't you think? It, it,